Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, this is kind of a different review. I initially clumped this review together with a larger review of some of my favorite fountain pens. That larger video is up here. You can go and check that out. But today, this review is going to be my full thoughts, pros, cons, everything, my full version, extended cut version of this review of this fountain pen. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of these, definitely check out the links below. Enjoy. Next is a pen from the Italian company Venustas, and this one is the Magna CC. Now, Venustas is a really interesting company because they make pens that are entirely or mostly made out of carbon fiber. Most pens that use carbon fiber usually only have a couple of different small parts that have carbon fiber in the design. This is completely different, though, in that their pens are actually entire rods of carbon fiber. The process for making these pens is very long and laborious. And if you look at the design, this design looks like something you would find in like the Dune movie or something. It is very futuristic, but I love how kind of minimalistic this pen is while using a couple of features to kind of signify where each part is. So if you turn the pen, you'll see a little notch that signifies where the cap is. You can take the cap out and you can see the other end where you post it. It posts very easily. And then the middle section, you can pop it out and it's a little bit longer. And that shows you where you can put a cartridge or a converter on the inside. Now the nib on this is titanium. This is a medium nib. It is very, very wet, almost a gusher, I would say. And it just flows out really well. It's very smooth, has a little bit of springiness in it, and I love this nib a lot. The pen is surprisingly comfortable. For something that is just a cylinder, it doesn't look like it would be that comfortable, but it feels great in the hand, and it has a nice weight to it due to the metal parts and the brass that are inside the pen. The owner of the company and the designer is actually an architect as well, and when you look at this pen, you can actually see that. Now, the ink that I'm using is Fumo di Londra, also by Venustas, and they have a line of inks that I really enjoy. I like their inks a lot. This is a great medium gray with kind of a cooler blue shading to it. It is a beautiful gray ink, one of my favorites. I love it a lot. Overall, I really enjoy this pen. If I were to bring some nitpicks here, I think the sections of the pen, especially the cap, might need a little bit of tweaking for future designs. Having the cap kind of slide out with a cylinder within a cylinder and kind of just a friction fit works, but it's a little clunky, I find. And that's really the only complaint that I have with this design. I think it is a beautiful pen, very, very interesting just to look at. It's a very comfortable pen and I love writing with it. It's $289 and it is on the high side, but there's no other pen that's like this. And for such a great writing experience with a titanium nib, I love it. And I think it is really worth the price. I think everyone should have at least one fountain pen in their collection to write with, to enjoy the kind of slower pace that a fountain pen brings. I think it's a very enjoyable experience with writing. And I think all of these pens are excellent, excellent pens. I'd love to know your thoughts though. So if you have any favorite fountain pens that I forgot to mention, definitely leave a comment of your favorite fountain pens. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below on your way out. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews.